Dev said that they are working on adding their own mods that you can download from their own website but, like Portable Mirror, better it tweaks etc etc. But I don't know if that was true or if he was lying. No, they're not doing that. What they just released, if you look on the VRChat Discord or go to VRChat's Twitter feed, um, you can see over the last day they've been posting every day. Um, and there's a list of new features they're going to release over the next week or two. And uh, a lot of them are like a uh, camera horizon change. Um, Is it change, says? Could work, though. If they listen to the community and work with smaller creators that makes mods. That's not going to happen. It's, uh, the mods that they're doing will be, they're not, they're not going to be mods. They're building new features for VRChat. And they're building the ones that are in high demand. And then after that, it's up to, uh, I guess, whether it just happens or not. Um, let me mute it again. Whoops. There you go. But yeah, um, why is my mouth not moving? Anyways. Uh, but yeah, uh, they're just adding new features to VR chat. So it's not a bad thing. I mean, they're adding a bunch of features that, you know, are wanted. Um, customer support contacted me and asked me what features I, uh, after I tweeted something, they called me back and I talked to them for about 10 minutes on, in Twitter and worked some camera stuff I wanted for doing my movie. So, I mean, they're making an effort. Um, it's not going to be open so mods can be put in ever again. It'll always be just what the devs make for the community, whatever the community asks for, and if the devs make it or don't make it, it won't be it won't be user supplied mods again. Rumor says, "I hate the fact the menu stuff was mentioned. They're gonna work on it since like early 2019. Not sure on that one. Maybe the community impacted it. I don't know, but I, I won't have my hopes up." Yeah, I mean, the only ones, like, uh, like I talked to Tupper last night, and Tupper, you know, I told him I wanted the camera to not have, I wanted no UI on the camera. I wanted to develop infinite grab range. I wanted to be able to scale the camera. He seemed receptive to it, but I mean, he didn't say he was going to do it. But then, uh, you know, it's like, I saw the list of things they're planning on releasing, and, there, and there's a lot of stuff there. I, they basically went down the mod list in, uh, what's it called, Melon Loader, and took the top 20 mods or 10, 15 mods, and they're just doing them. I mean, uh, they're, the last couple of tweets, the, the fact that the last tweet had like 10 new features or something in it, uh, and it was a lot, a lot of nice stuff, but it's like, you know, they say they're going to release it. Well, you know, I, I'm i more of the fact at this point, I want to see when it's released. They've shown a little clips of it here and there, but you know, it, and the, the part that really pierces, pisses me off the most is that it had to come to this for them to develop the stuff for us. That it took people doing stuff against TOS breaking the rules for multiple years, a mass uh, exodus from the platform, break just fucking everyone's lives up. I mean, to be honest... Is a lot it of, chain uh, says? Ooh, I see. A lot of well, I hope they do something, at least people, with the you know, IK and logo stuff, so you can actually move around without looking like a crab. Um, yeah, the IK, the IK stuff, the new IK is actually really good on VRChat. I mean, the majority of it is. Um, it's still not as good as, I mean... Even when I was there before, even with the new IK 3.0 or whatever it was 2.0, I was still running IK tweaks in the background to do the sp uh -huh. the spine justification stuff because it just IK tweaks IK tweaks is better at it. But yeah, so I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I just uh, the what I want them to say is like, yeah, we're gonna make a white list of mods. You know, submit mods to a repository that vr chat moderates and though and they built an build an internal modding system that only works for stuff that they've whitelisted and you know so new mods get submitted to a git repository someone uh -huh. someone's job there at vr chat is to verify that the mods are valid they have to be open source so the source can be visible and that's it and so mods can be submitted whether they go in or not just depends on you know time frame and the complexity of them you know viability user demand I mean, I would think that'd be the easiest way. They don't have to spend any more development resources. The co community can still build uh, d uh, mods, and it still can have. They can still be integrated with their uh, cheat thing they want to have, because they could just be the mods could be part of uh, an integration system that they build internally for it, and that would make everybody happy. Because then everybody could be mod. I mean, there might be some. I guess people will complain about anything, but people will complain that they have to submit them to VRChat. Voice of Wind the, you know, 1111 says, but, you know, that sounds like actual software dev on an agile system. Impossible. I mean, it would be nice. I mean, that would be what, I, that would be what I'd aim, be aiming for. I mean, if I was pushing for something, but at this point, it's like the way they treated everybody with that whole 
24 hour release thing and then you know just sort of blowing everybody off and then honestly i think this sounds really bitter of me but i think had it not impacted people who needed uh with the right i don't want to use the wrong word people who had uh what's it called Sp- special needs i guess i don't know what the, i don't know what the correct word is uh it, <laughs> Sorry, uh, people who had what's it called? They couldn't connect. They couldn't use like a deaf people, mute people who had, can actually can't speak. If that hadn't been impacted here, I don't think they did on shit. I don't think they would have done anything. I think they would have released the thing like it was and rolled with it, because I think the the main thing that's driving them to do it right now is they don't want to look like they're you know no one no one wants to be the bad guy against you know deaf people or blind people or trans people or gay, whatever no one wants to be the person picking on the minority or the you know the group that's you know been trodden down in their life no one wants to be that and so i think had that not been the case had some of those mods that got dropped or had them those mods not existed i think we would be in a very different situation right now and you know a lot of people are bandwagoning on that 